Hi, it's Lauren from Holy Beautiful. Today we are talking about a brand new launch, Jones Road Beauty. This is created by Bobbi Brown. You may recognize the name because Bobbi Brown has been a makeup artist since 1980 and has had the famous cosmetics line, Bobbi Brown Cosmetics. Um, she was over that for a very long time. She worked with Estee Lauder, but she left Bobbi Brown Cosmetics and Estee Lauder in 2016 and since has kind of been venturing into some other things. But just last month, very end of October, she launched Jones Road Beauty after a brief hiatus. And this is like such a cool, fun line. It's kind of touted as like no makeup makeup, which is basically what Bobbi Brown is known for. If you are familiar with her work and her previous cosmetics line, there's a lot of very natural, neutral tones. She really kind of pioneered the no makeup makeup aesthetic that we know and love today. She really kind of started that at a time back in the 80s when brighter colors and really, really big dramatic makeup was kind of at its peak. And I would say, I would argue that she really is kind of who brought us into like the 90s no makeup aesthetic. Um, personally, I love this kind of makeup. I love, I love doing like a big full face. Don't get me wrong. I love the creative aspect of that. But on a daily basis, I would say I gravitate towards like no makeup makeup looking like the best version of yourself. I've always loved Bobbi Brown's eye for makeup. I've had several of her books. I've always loved her tips and really just the idea of looking like your best self, really enhancing your features, not necessarily trying to change them with like really, really heavy sculpting and things like that. So I picked up basically all of her new launches. Um, there is this Miracle Balm. I got the shade Dusty Rose, which this thing is surprisingly large. Um, this is $38. And then she has a new mascara, which this I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of nervous about. I haven't tried any of this, by the way. I swatched a little bit on my hands just to see what things looked like and kind of get an idea for the textures and how I wanted to play with them. But I haven't worn any of this. So we are doing this together today. So here is the mascara. It has a traditional wand and it's kind of got this curved brush. I love brush shapes like this because you really don't necessarily need an eyelash curler. Like my eyelashes have a little bit of natural curve to them. So I'm very, very excited to see how this performs. I'm hoping that it doesn't smudge on me. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Then I also got, let me see, I'm scrolling real quick. I also got this set that has multiple products. It's the startup kit. And this is $68. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. The mascara is $26. Um, I feel like the price points are very similar to her previous line for what it's worth. So in the startup kit, there were multiple products that came in, in in that, one of which is an eyeshadow pan. This is a very matte, like dark cocoa kind of color. And then we've got this little, kind of like a cream shadow in a pot. And this color is called just a sec no golden peach golden peach just a sec shadow though which is really pretty it's a shimmery kind of color and then there is this eyeliner which comes in a sharpening pencil form which i actually really like this type of liner whether it's an eyeliner or lip liner and then we've got one last product this clear gloss that came in that set so I went ahead and I did my base makeup and my eyebrows because those are not included in this line yet. I do think that she will come out with a whole bunch of other products, but this line is brand new and from my understanding is self-funded. They don't have outside venture helping them, which is kind of cool for a couple of reasons. A, she can do really whatever she wants and not have someone telling her how to do it. And B, it's just like, I. I don't know. I kind of love just seeing that entrepreneurial spirit come through in her own line. So I, I don't know. I think it's very cool. So let's start off with the multi-purpose balm. Like I said, it comes in this massive container. It smells a little bit like, like rosemary ish is kind of what I would say. Um, so the other thing about this line is like, they really like talk about being like clean um, which I don't really care for that kind of marketing. 
but they what is their tagline they call it it was like cool clean hang on it's cool clean something okay so let's see what this looks like on my hand okay so we've got some pigment it's very very creamy very very creamy and it kind of buffs out to a very soft wash now i think that you know you can use this basically any way you want to is kind of what they're going for they want multi-purpose products so with this initially i was kind of hoping that it could be like a blush shade honestly i think that i would want a little something underneath that because you can see like once you get that buffed out it's very very sheer um, it does feel really nice though. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to scoop out a little bit on my nail. I'll do a little bit more. And uh, let's see what this does. Feels really lovely. I think with this product specifically, you could use it for your eyes, lips, cheeks, you could probably um, even prep your face with it. There's multiple shades of this. There was more like bronzy shades and a really, really rosy shade. And then like a clear shade, almost like you could do like the really glossy cheeks and stuff like that. You can see it adds a really nice moisture and sheen. And this just adds like a whisper of color. It's If you're looking for this to be like a cream blush, this ain't it. This is not like pigmented enough but it feels really nice on the lips. I would say that this almost too would be like a great like sheen highlight kind of situation or you could even put it on the lids. That might make it kind of crease and smudge though. So I am wary of trying that today, but I will try it eventually. Okay, so because that is so sheer, I what I wanna do is add a little bit of color to my cheeks and I will stick with a cream product, but I personally, I just think that that's a little too light for me to be a blush. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to the cheek and then we'll go over it and use it more like a highlight because it's like very dewy and balmy. So let me add this on real quick. Okay. And then I'm going to scoop out a little bit of this again and kind of rub it together. Very, very dewy, creamy formula. I'm kind of patting it because I don't want it to pick up. Oh, it's really pretty. I don't want it to pick up too much of the makeup that I've already put on. Sometimes with these more um, natural based formulas with butters and waxes and things like that, they can tend to make foundations um, slide around if you're like swiping that on. I mean, think about like an oil makeup remover. It's going to take things off. So I think that you can get the two to really blend together, but you do just want to pat and dab rather than swipe. And also I used my Gressa foundation, which this doesn't have like any silicones or anything like that. I figured that would play well with these products specifically rather than break them down. So that's really, really pretty. Um, it's just very fresh and glowy. <laughs> no makeup, makeup. What I think I'm going to do with this is come back to this. I'll use it right now as a balm. And then towards the end, I will wipe this off and put on a lip liner and then put this over top of it. I think that'll be really pretty. Okay, so let's move in to some of these eye products. Now, Bobbi Brown has made some really iconic powder products. Think like the Shimmer Bricks. She's got lots of palettes in her old collection. So I'm really curious to see what this is all about. Now, this is a matte. Um, and I haven't, like I said, I haven't put this on. I did swatch a little bit on my hand, so I really don't know what's gonna happen here. I'm hoping it's gonna be great. I'm gonna use a little tiny brush. And you know what, since I haven't used this before, I wanna see how, find a non-balmy spot. Um, I wanna see kind of what to expect with this formula. Okay, so that's like super duper dark. That's actually really pretty. You could do a really nice smoky eye with this. And let me grab another brush and kind of see what this buffs out to. Okay, so you can really work this formula. 
That's nice. So what I think we'll do today is kind of like a very soft kind of pinky rosy look on the lips and cheeks and then we'll do kind of a sultry smoky eye. Um, and I also want to use that other uh, eyeshadow product so we will save that too. So I'm going to take this kind of smaller brush and let's see. It didn't seem to have a ton of fallout either, which is good. So especially with how dark this is and the fact that I already have a balm on my cheeks, that was kind of dumb. I should have waited. But let's just see what happens here. So I'm going to make... Oh, there's a tiny drop of fallout. Darn it. Okay, we're going to just kind of pat and build this up. And I'm really going to blend this to death. I don't want it to be a really, really hard look with shadow today. Keep it cash. Ooh, that's, that's a lot. We're going to have to blend that a lot. Huh. Okay, so it's not like... It's not the creamiest formula of eyeshadow, like powder eyeshadow I've worked with. I think a lot of um, a lot of more modern formulas have like kind of a buttery feel to them. This definitely has, that's a lot of eyeshadow. <laughs> this definitely has a slightly drier feel to it, which is not a bad thing, but I think it's worth noting if you're used to like the really velvety textures that a lot of powders have. This is definitely more dry. I'm going to blend that out. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Okay, let's do, oh girl, we're going kind of graphic today. Uh, let's do the other eye. <laughs> Now, before I move on to add some to the lower lash line too, I'm gonna take that soft fluffy brush and really, really blend this out. But I wanted to create kind of a strong shape. I really like to kind of pull my eyes upward and outward to really accentuate the shape. I have kind of a almond shaped eye, a little bit more round almond, um, but I really like to bring those out and up. So let's blend this out. And if you'll notice, I left my lid space a little more bare because I'm gonna go in with that golden peach shade. We'll see what happens. All right, now I wanna add a little bit to my lower lash line. As you can see, that blended out pretty well. Sometimes I worry with matte shadows that they're gonna get really patchy or difficult to blend, um, especially because this formula does feel a bit drier than a lot of more modern formulas that I have played with. But I have to be honest, like it blended out really easily. I didn't have to go back in and fill in a bunch of patchy spots. I'm happy with this. Um, let me take this little domed brush and I'm just gonna get it right on the very tip of that. Make sure I don't have any for fallout. And as you can see, I had like one little teeny tiny spot where I had some fallout, but it's not bad at all. Um, I I'm happy with that. Okay, let's do the lower lash line. I always like to do my lower lash line. I feel like it adds a really complete look to the face. Um, I'm not gonna go too, too heavy with this because I am gonna put on eyeliner and I kind of wanna rim my whole eye with it to see how it wears. So let's just keep this pretty light. <laughs> keep it light, she says. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna smoke that out a little bit more, but let's do the other eye. That's a 
really pretty color brown. I really like it. I went a little heavier because the color is pretty dark, but I mean, I could see this being a color that I reach for a lot. It is really easy to apply. It blends out beautifully. Okay, so let's move on to this kind of creamy confection we've got here. Um, I swatched this on my hand earlier and the best descriptor of what it feels like to me is if you've ever used the ColourPop uh, Super Shock shadows, it feels very similar to that when you start rubbing it on. It almost has like kind of a kind of a bouncy texture. I really like this type of formula and usually this type of formula dries down and it's not super slippery once you get it on. So let's see what this does, how this plays with using a powder as well and go from there. That's really pretty. It adds some light to the eye um, and really kind of opens things back up. As you can see, compared to this eye, it really adds some brightness with this darker cocoa shadow. I'm gonna build it up a little bit more and see what we can get. Okay, so as you can see that you can build it up some if you want it to be a little more opaque. It's never gonna be, I think, completely opaque. It has kind of a sheer wash effect, but it's very, very pretty and I like it a lot. So we'll have to see if it creases at all, what it does, especially with getting the mascara on. That's maybe the one thing I'm the most nervous about because mascara can make or break your look. Like if you put on the wrong mascara and you've done this beautiful eye look and you spent all this time blending it and then you put on a mascara that smudges all over the place, ruined. Like I'm so picky with my mascara, so I'm really, really hoping that this one will wear well. I actually sort of feel like this color would also double really nicely as like an additional highlight on the cheeks. So I'm gonna kind of um, blend it in to this balm and like, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Like that's kind of the whole like thing about this line is it's supposed to be really multi-purpose and that's really pretty. I love, um, I love all cosmetics that you can do more than one thing with because I feel like it allows you to be an artist and also really you can have a more minimalistic collection of your makeup, which I really like. I feel like I'm constantly trying to scale down everything that I own because I don't like feeling super overwhelmed. Um, and so that's also another appeal of this line is it's not like overwhelming. It's not like a million different things that you feel like you have to have. Like, I feel like you could really pick and choose and have a very curated collection of products. All right, let's add some of this eyeliner. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I don't, I don't feel like I wear a ton of black eyeliner, but I feel like it really can make your eyes look really sharp and crisp and you can also make it a really smoky effect too. Um, we, you know, I said I wanted to do kind of a smoky eye. So what I'm gonna do is keep this pencil pretty closely lined to my lash line. And then what I actually wanna do, we'll see how well it smudges out. I wanna use this little brush to kind of soften out that line. Um, I think that with this you could get, let's see. I think you could get a pretty, pretty crisp line. And so let's see real quick. I, again, I always like to test on my hand to see like what I can do with something before I get it on my face and then like try to figure it out that way. Okay, so yeah, this formula, you can definitely smudge it out when it's just applied. Um, I will say from earlier swatching it on my hand, it seems like once it sets down, it doesn't come off. It almost has like a waterproof effect. I don't think it, I don't think it said waterproof anywhere, but it has that waxy base. And a lot of times eyeliners are going to be more like waterproof. So let's see.
Okay, I dig it. It was really, really easy to use. It's a really, really creamy formula. So I could really blend it out with that little brush. The one thing I will say, and you could kind of see on my hand, it is not the most intense dark black. It kind of, you can make it more of like a charcoal wash, or if you layer over it, you can really build up that intensity to make it more of like a rich black. But I guess, again, it's kind of nice because it's versatile in that way, but if you're expecting it to be like the darkest black pencil you've ever used, I would say it's probably not. But that being said, I do think it's really pretty. We'll see how it wears, because I wanted to pull a little bit into the waterline to see if it's gonna bleed or move around. Because like I said, once it sets down, it definitely seems to be more of like a waterproof type formula. It didn't just smudge right off of my hand after I applied it. So we shall see. Okay, what do we have left? We've used a lot of these products. Okay, now what I wanna do is kind of Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna apply this mascara. Now, I find that mascara wands that are silicone tend to lift my lashes more than this type of brush. Um, but out of curiosity, I want to see kind of what this formula does without curling previous to application. So, uh, let's see what this will do. Uh, if the formula is really wet or creamy, it looks kind of creamy to me, um, which that is kind of my preference. So, please don't ruin Okay, so that is definitely very volumizing. Um, I feel like there's a lot of product on the brush, which is not surprising. It's a brand new tube of mascara. I feel like that's pretty normal. Um, I'm going to comb through these a little bit more and apply some to my bottom lashes. This is honestly a lot more bold than I expected, but if you know me and my makeup preferences, I am actually super happy about this. I love big dramatic eyelashes and that is so surprisingly intense. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's awesome. Let's do the other eye. And I will probably do this like a little tiny baby coat of a second coat because that first coat is like, that's a lot of mascara. <laughs> I did not expect that from this line because all of the models looked like they had just like a little whisper of mascara, um, but that actually, will, that'll give you some eyelashes for sure. Wow, that is actually really awesome. I am just gonna hope and pray that that doesn't smudge anywhere. Um, I did get a little bump on the inside, a little bump on the outside, nothing too crazy though. That wand shape agrees with my eye shape. Like I have kind of deep set eyes. You can see my brow bone sticks out a lot further than my eye. And I oftentimes will struggle to get mascara on without making an complete crazy mess of everything. Uh, that was not bad. Okay, so I wiped off that balm that we had to just kind of moisturize the lips while we did the rest of the makeup. I'm gonna line my lips with this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Okay, and then we will go in and put some of this multi-purpose balm on. And I want to do it a little thicker this time for a little extra color. Feels really, really nice. Very 
pretty. I'm going to add a little extra kind of layering back over on the cheek again too. Just for that extra glow. And our final step that I'm going to add is that clear gloss. Because it's clear, I don't want to put it directly over my lips, so I'm going to put some on my finger and dab it on that way. Let's see, it almost, <laughs> the clear one kind of looks like Vaseline. Uh, from my understanding, there's no petroleum in these. It's very pepperminty. It's really pretty. It's very uh, lush but it doesn't feel sticky at all, which is also really nice. That peppermint though is very strong. So if you're not into peppermint oils and things like that, you might want to skip that. That's very pretty. Overall, I really have enjoyed how all of these products apply. They look really, really pretty. Uh, so now we're going to see how they wear after a few hours. Wish me luck on this mascara. It touches my brow bone. I'm hoping that it doesn't end up all over the place, but I love how this applies. Um, and I will come back in a little bit with my wear test and kind of my final thoughts on this new line. See you in a little bit. Okay, so here we are. It's the next day. We're doing a little check-in. I'm sorry that I didn't film the check-in last night. It ended up being too late, but I did take some pictures so we can kind of talk about what happened and what I thought about the products. So let's start off with the multi-purpose balm. I really, really like this. Um, I think that it's a really, really great formula. It feels so nice and juicy on the lips and it gives a lot of kind of glow and life to the cheeks. Um, you get a very, very generous size of this. I think the only thing that I could say is I wish that this was a little bit more pigmented than it is. This is a really pretty shade. It adds just a little tiny wash of pink. It has a little bit of shimmer and glisten, so it really kind of livens up the area that you put it on. But I just find it to be very, very sheer when it blends out. The other shades in this range look a little bit more pigmented, so I might have to try those at some point. Um, but I really like the formula of this. I think it's really beautiful and easy to work with and very creamy and emollient. Um, this eyeshadow, I surprisingly really like it. I did a very graphic kind of look last night, and today I did a much softer look because I wanted to show the versatility of this formula. Um, it is, like I said, it's a drier formula than a lot of stuff that I've used more recently. But I almost feel like because of that, it doesn't grab and cling to the skin the way that a lot of more new formulas do. Sometimes with newer formulas, you can't make them super soft initially because they just kind of like, I feel like a lot of them have like butters and waxes in the powders. And so they kind of stick and cling where you put them and then they'll blend out and they're really, really soft and buttery, but you can't make it as sheer sometimes. But because this is a slightly drier formula, I feel like you can really make it very, very soft like I did today. Or you can do like what I did last night where I like really went in hard with it and it was a very dramatic look. So it's a very versatile formula and I think that's actually really great. Next, oh, this little cream shadow. I love this so much. I feel like it's kind of hard to get it on camera, but it has this like very almost intergalactic kind of glisten to it. Um, it didn't crease on me at all. I, like I said, it reminds me of the ColourPop Super Shock shadow. So if you like that kind of texture, I think that you would really like this. Um, now let's talk about this mascara, uh, is like shockingly good. Like I really was nervous going into it because mascaras tend to smudge on me and leave me with like panda eyes. And this did not do that. When mascara smudges on me, I don't get smudges on the bottom. I get smudges on my brow bone typically, and this didn't smudge at all. I did have some smudging though on my bottom underneath here, and I think it was because of this liner. I wanted to put it to the test by putting it in my waterline because I feel like when you put a, a liner in the waterline, that's when it's most likely to bleed. And I wanted to see, does this bleed or not? And I did have some smudging underneath my eye but not on the top. So I think that if you use this like on top of your lashes or underneath your lashes and set with a powder, you're not gonna have any problems. I think if you wanna use this to rim the waterline of your eyes, that is where you're more likely to run into some issues with smudging. 
if you're looking for a great like kind of like rock and roll look, this is a great smudgy liner for that. Um, like I said too, it's a very soft creamy formula, which is really nice. But just be wary, it does seem to smudge a little bit. And our final product is this lip gloss. And it's a very, um, very thin, kind of slippery formula. It feels more like a lip oil to me. Um, personally, with lip glosses, I like them to be a little bit thicker and have more tack because I feel like they stay on longer. This to me wears more like a lip oil. It's not marketed that way, but it definitely feels more like a lip oil to me. Um, it's very high shine, very high gloss, but I find that it was wearing off like within an hour. It really kind of like sinks into the lips rather than like sinking in and leaving that film on the outside the way that some glosses do. I feel like it just kind of absorbs and it's more moisturizing. And um, so I personally, I wish that this was thicker that's just a personal preference. Some people may really, really love the formula of this. I just don't like to have to reapply so often. So that's kind of just, you know, that's a personal preference. Overall, I think that this collection is really, really beautiful. I love the packaging. It's very simple and streamlined and very clean looking. Um, they seem to be somewhat eco-conscious with some of the glass packaging. And when they mailed it, it came in like a little cardboard sleeve. And I'll put a picture up here as well so you can see. It was like a little papery bag type thing with like a snap on it. It was really different. Um, but I love this line. I'm honestly not too surprised because I love that everything that Bobbi Brown has done in the past with her cosmetic line and just kind of her eye for makeup. I really feel like she creates beautiful curations that are so easy to use for everyday routine and to get you out the door and look and feel your, like your best self. So I hope that you enjoyed this review. I feel like it was very thorough and comprehensive. Um, if you did like it, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps to get my videos out to other viewers and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.